The Dodgers are in Arizona for a three-game set at Chase Field, about 20 miles away from ISM Raceway, the setting of a different type of sporting event that occurred earlier this spring, attended by a pair of Dodgers. What's up, fellas? What's up, dude? You guys on? get to come to my locker room. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Up and up, huh? How you, you guys doing? killed it the other night. Good, dude. Yeah, good to see you. Looking real good. You ready good to go? Pitching? Jacked one out the other night? Yeah, <laughs> tried to, man. That's awesome. Yeah. The player's host, Austin Dillon, has racing in his blood. The third generation driver has been competing on NASCAR's highest level since 2014. In February, the 27 year old won what is considered to be the most important and prestigious race on the NASCAR calendar, the Daytona 500. And a few weeks later, with a NASCAR circuit stopping in Phoenix, the lifelong baseball fan made some time to visit Camelback Ranch. We have a special guest here professional NASCAR driver, Daytona 500 champion, Austin Dillon. What's up, guys? Thanks for having me. I started playing uh, baseball just like any other kid. I got a pretty big head. Yeah, that'll work. Made it to the Little League World Series 12 years old, had a great coach, great team, and uh, we fought hard, won regionals and states, and then um, went to the World Series. You know, dream was to play baseball, but uh, the opportunity of racing was was there, and and uh, I fell in love with racing the first time I got in a car, and I knew it was for me. The following day, Dylan returns the favor and hosts a pair of players on his home turf. You'd think it'd be more, but they they restricted the motor down so much over the last couple of years because because of the speed. Like these cars are built with the bodies. To, with so much horsepower because they're, they're, the wind just cuts off of them. Yeah. So we were going too fast, too fast, too fast. So they started cutting the engine horsepower down. And we're still going faster with less horsepower. Kevin, show them around under there. Yeah, you know, I'm born and raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, you know, the NASCAR Hall of Fame is there. And, and so I enjoyed, enjoyed NASCAR. And so it was, a, it was a really cool experience to get to, to go out there with Austin uh, and, and take a spin around the track and, and, and see all the intricacies uh, of the setup uh, on a race weekend. Thank you, man. When you get out there, you're gonna be like, this looks totally different on the track because you can't tell from up here the banking. Like that end's yeah. really banked, and this end, I'm telling you, it's like, you look like, holy cow, it's like a parking lot, it's flat. Sunday, dude, this place will be, you can't walk. That's the difference between like That's our deal and y'all's deal where no one can get to you guys. Yeah. And everybody can get to us. Here, huh? Yeah. Like the national anthem, there'll be a fan like standing right behind me. <laughs> no way. Yeah. And I'll get in the car and go. Good for that fan. That's it. <laughs> Living the dream. That's hysterical. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, this thing's sweet. It's got the heads-up display. That's what I want them to do in our race cars next. What's that? The heads-up display. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it on. So this is pit road, like right so there. Just roll up? Yeah, this would be me, and I'd stop right there. Is it, a, is it better advantage to get here than back there? Or does it yeah, not toward the front, people like to be in the uh -huh. first stall because there's nobody in front of you that'll affect it. This is an adrenaline rush for me, man. This is normal for you, huh? Yeah. Wild, man. 
I was scared for like the first three turns. I don't know, he was, it was like another day on the freeway for him, but I was freaking out. We're about to get nasty with it's it. It's about to go down right here. <laughs> Taking the A wood. He, he throws like 100 and yeah. miles an hour, so we're gonna like throw, throw him in a race car, go see if he likes it. Ready? Yeah, let's get it. Let's get, get it. it. Was Cody freaking out? Yeah, he liked it. He said that was a heck of a little adrenaline rush. <laughs> You're hitting every turn uh, fairly quickly, so it, it was definitely uh, a once in a lifetime experience that someone I'll never forget. Dude, you were pouring sweat. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's close Crazy, to that feel. Man. So sick. <laughs> Am I sweating? I know, I told you. I should take my he jacket off. He was pouring sweat, dude. He, <laughs> he kept wiping his glasses. I was like, you all right? All right. Woo! How was it? That was awesome, man. That's so awesome. You guys made me sweat on the baseball field. I'm glad I could make you sweat out here. You did. I was, that was awesome. Man. I was so nervous. <laughs> so sick. I was. I didn't want to be that guy to go any harder than that because I mean I could have gone harder, but like we blow a right <laughs> no, front tire good. and that then <laughs> I blamed for the Dodgers having a bad year. Yeah, that was uh, that was perfect speed for me. Yeah. yeah. You out, bud? Yeah, I gotta go. I'm like late. All right, appreciate you. Hey, bye. You gotta go. You know, he just casually pulled in, he slammed on the brakes, and uh, he jumped out of the car, and literally probably three minutes later, uh, he was in his, uh, his stock car. Definitely a lot cooler in person. Um, I think you watch on TV, you aren't realizing how fast they're actually going. Um, and we were sitting there in the pit watching the cars go by, and it's extremely loud. Seeing it firsthand, seeing how dedicated the fans are and how, you know, how fast the cars are actually going was pretty cool.